What's up guys, welcome to your 14th XHTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about table width but before I get started I want to tell you guys that if you're following along with my last tutorial you'll notice that I took out that big title at the top that says odd people because for this tutorial it'll just confuse you if you leave it in so go ahead and take that out and make sure that your table only has regular table headers and table data in it so once you have a basic table uh, you can continue so what I want to talk to you guys about like I said is table width now by default whenever you create a table it's gonna adjust the width automatically to however long the longest piece of data is so this is the longest piece of data so that is how long the column needs to be and you see this column is shorter so that's why this is that short so it makes sense right but what if you say alright the table would look a lot better on my web page if it was just a little bit wider well actually this is possible with XHTML and it's really simple to do you can adjust the width of your table in two ways aside from border table has another attribute called can you guess it width there you go one point for you and you can adjust the width like I said in one of two ways the first thing that you can do is just write a number and whenever you write a number in there it will adjust to that many pixels exactly so let's go ahead and save this and refresh and check it out it now adjusts to 500 pixels so now your table is 500 pixels wide regardless of how long the data is inside it so that's pretty cool another way you can adjust the width is to give it a percentage and if you go ahead and give it something like 100 percent it's going to adjust to a hundred percent of the width of your website so let's go ahead and save this and check it out it now takes up a hundred percent width so if you go ahead and shrink this check it out it's still taking up a hundred percent no matter how small or how long it goes it changes dynamically based on how wide your browser is so we're saying alright I don't know how big their screen is going to be but I know I want my table to take up a hundred percent of the space that is how you can use that a percentage of you know instead of a number what would just be pixels you can use a percentage that's what I was trying to say so that is how you can adjust the width of your table and now I want to talk to you guys about another thing that you can add and let's go ahead and get rid of this width because it will just confuse you so let's go ahead and keep the border and now I want to talk to you guys about a concept called cell padding and cell spacing so let's go ahead and save this and refresh it let's see there we go refresh until we just got a normal table you might be saying alright Bucky this table is looking pretty dang good but everything's just too clustered together I need some space in between this text and the border or I just kinda need things spaced out some more to make it easier to read well that is also possible with XHTML and you do that with an attribute there's two different attributes one's called cell padding and one's called cell spacing let's go ahead and start with cell padding cell padding is the idea that it gives you space between your text in this case and the border so whatever content is inside in this case the word cat people and the border you can write an amount in there and that's how many pixels it's gonna give you to space so let's go ahead and make this 10 pixels and check it out you see how everything's kinda tied up the text is kinda bumped up against the border let's refresh it and check it out we now have some padding around the text or the contents of your uh, table and the border so I mean that's what cell padding is pretty much puts pads in your cell hmm, maybe that's where they come up with it who knows so now let's change over to something called cell spacing spell si cell spacing what I was gonna say spell chasing I think <laughs> what the heck does that mean cell spacing is the idea that you have space between your cells themselves so instead of having padding around your text you're going to be having space between your individual cells so let's go ahead and refresh this you hear that siren let's see what's going on uh, probably just a bank robbery or a homicide or something no big deal I'm just gonna keep talking so let's go ahead and uh, refresh this yeah that's kind of annoying and it's kind of distracting me so yeah it's getting louder 
Oh my god, they're coming right here. Anyways, so now you can see that cell spacing is the space between the cells themselves. The text is still bumped up against the border, but the cells are separated from each other a little bit. Kind of like giving yourself a thicker, thicker border. So anyways, that's the difference between cell padding and cell spacing. A lot of people get that confused, but hopefully I explained it so you guys understand what it means. And now you would know when to use one and when to use the other. So between, you know, adjusting your border, your table width, your cell padding, and your cell spacing, and also with cold span and stuff, you can pretty much get any type of table that you want. So there is basically the basics to tables. So now that you guys understand this, you're ready to move on to the next subject. What it is, I don't know. But anyways, it's going to be awesome. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my website. And I will see you guys next video.